Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials on my channel, but I also do a lot of beauty reviews and beauty related videos in general, like this one today. We are doing a what's in my bag video. I have been dying to do this for such a long time. I really miss this part of YouTube. People used to do this all the time and I'm super nosy and curious to what everybody else carries in their bag and I don't feel like we do this anymore like ever so I want to bring it back and share with you what's in my bag today so if you are interested in seeing what I carry around in my bag go ahead and keep watching all right you guys so first things first I'm just gonna scoot to the side here and show you my bag this is a Teddy Blake bag they actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to pick one of their bags I'm not sponsored I'm not partnering with them in this video I'm just really really loving their brand they also gave me a coupon code for $20 off and I think if you sign up for emails you get like 35% off so they are in the like mid price point range but they always have sales and then you get an extra $20 off with that coupon code so I'll leave that down below and flash it on the screen as well but I picked this bag I'll leave the name of it down below as well I can't remember it and I'll flash it on the screen right now I am obsessed with it you guys I transition this into my business life and I also wear it in my personal life which is amazing that's exactly what I wanted in a bag I can fit my calendar in here my laptop my portfolio my makeup my phone so much it's a really big bag and I love the red inside if you guys couldn't tell like I'm obsessed with a pop of red my phone is red I absolutely love a classic red color oddly enough I don't have any Christian Louboutins but there are ungodly uncomfortable in my opinion which is why but yeah I am loving this bag so much it's a hundred percent Italian leather which is beautiful it's gonna wear really well it's gonna hold up really well and they have that designer look they have so many different kinds of bags on their website that have that designer look but it's not the designer price point so check out Teddy Blake if you can and definitely use that coupon code and then sign up for their emails for more money off I think you guys will really enjoy these bags like I am. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm just going to kind of pull out as I go. So this came along with the Teddy Blake bag. It just is a little, you can kind of tie it onto the inside with this thing. I don't because I like to grab it out sometimes if I'm running in somewhere and I don't want to necessarily take everything in here like my laptop and my notebooks and all that good stuff. I'll just throw what I need in here and then carry it, which is really convenient. So right now I just have all of my gum inside here and then I put my receipts in here that I need to file away for taxes so I have them in a really nice convenient spot I have a lot of gum in here if you guys didn't know I am like super addicted to Orbit sweet mint gum it's my favorite gum in the world and I guess I'm hoarding it in here right now but I really like this feature of it especially for holding my receipts I'll get into the big items last because we'll spend a little more time on that but I also have this Flonase Scentsy Mist. This has been a lifesaver for my allergies this year. My eyes have not watered at all and my nose hasn't been watering as much. It still runs a little bit but as far as the eyes I've seen a huge difference so check this out if you're struggling with allergies. Consult your doctor of course before but I've been loving this so I keep this in my purse so I'm sure to use it every single day. That's one thing with allergy medicine that you really have to keep up with kind of has to build up in your system. The next thing here are some sunglasses. This is a key um, case. I think it came with some glasses I got years ago. But I just have my La Spec sunglasses in here. These are a tortoise shell and I love them. They're very dirty, I can tell. But I love oversized sunglasses and these are super high quality. And I love anything that just hides my face. And this blocks the sun really well. I have very sensitive light blue eyes. So I always have sunglasses on me. Even when it's overcast, I usually have sunglasses on. So I really like those glasses because they're under $100, I think. And I like having a different color. Typically, I have all black sunglasses, but having a tortoise shell in there is really fun for me. So I've got those all the time. I have my planner. This is um, a Louis Vuitton little case. And then I just have a you know planner in here from, I think, Staples or something like that. So... I mo mostly use this for business meetings and then I write out like all my bills and when they're due and that's kind of how I keep track of everything but I really like this cover I can just transition this every year I really like the I, I can't remember if this is called like a bean or damier or something like that 
I think this is not sold anymore. I got this on a website or on Instagram actually that I follow. It's a resale shop and they post these things and I saw this and I'd been wanting this for such a long time. I was super happy and I love the size of it. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's perfect for keeping in your purse when you're on the go and you have business meetings like me. So really like that. And then this is my absolute favorite pen of all time. I've got to share it with you. It's the Fusion Erasable Pens. They come in, I think, blue and red as well. I cannot stand crossing things out. It is so unesthetically pleasing to me when I have to cross something out and then write something else. So having an erasable pen for me is a must. And these are by far the best ones. So check these out if you are in the market for an erasable pen. I have, I think this is... Yeah, this is some information on a my uh, French Bulldog. He's having like really bad allergies right now, so I just took him to the vet, and this is just some information on that. I haven't cleaned anything out of this bag since wanting to do this video. I wanted to keep it raw and real because that's how we do on this channel. So yeah, if you guys have French Bulldogs and have any questions on allergies, please let me know below because I feel like I have been through it. <laughs> uh, the next thing we have is an empty pill bottle for my cat. Stanley, he is on Prozac, the lowest uh, dosage, not that it matters. He has a little bit of anxiety and this has made a huge difference. I got him from the anti-cruelty and from the moment I got him to about four, no, a year ago, yeah, so for like the first three years of having him, he would pee on things occasionally that he shouldn't have been, like the bed or furniture or in the bathtub. And I, I didn't know what to do, so I finally went to the vet and I was like, "There's, I don't know what to do, I don't know why he's doing this. I mean, I, I brought it up to the vet a lot and they were just like, oh, get the little plug-ins, I can't feel away, that's what it's called, and that never helped. So anyway, I, I did some research and a lot of people said that it might be anxiety, so to bring up trying Prozac, I did and it has been a night and day difference. So if you're having issues with your cat and there's nothing else wrong with them, they're just randomly peeing on things, talk to your vet about that. It really has just made such a great difference in our life. He's a lot more calm, so I had to get a new prescription, so I have that in there. I have my wallet. This is a Mark by Mark Jacobs wallet. I've had this for what feels like 10 years-ish. This was my first like high-end purchase. I had gotten like a $200 gift card from someone I nannied from and then I spent like $200 on it and it was like my first purchase and it's still going super super strong I love it I will I feel like have this forever it's timeless gold and black gold hardware I absolutely love it so investing in high-end products really does make a difference when it comes to things like this and this has been through it I mean I throw this in every bag luggage suitcase and it still looks really good so Love that guy. I'm not going to go through what's in there because it's pretty much private information. But uh, next up, I have my AirPods uh, from Apple. This is a little silicone case. Again, red, obviously, theme here. I got the silicone case on Amazon for like 10 bucks, and it's really nice because the AirPods sometimes slip around if they're in your pocket, so this really helps it stay put, and I absolutely love these AirPods. If you're on the fence about it, definitely worth it. They never slip out of my ears. I did lose one once, which was a pain in the butt because just replacing one of these little guys is like 80 bucks, which kind of stinks, but yeah, I really like these a lot, so I keep those with me all the time because a lot of times I'm on business calls or I'm listening to music. And then finally, the biggest thing in here is this guy. Now, this is not Louis Vuitton. This is from Amazon. I can't remember the name of the shop. It's like Daisy something maybe. I can't remember. But I thought I would get something to match with the um, planner. You can see there is a little bit of a difference in color. And it doesn't have the LVs. So it's not like knockoff. But it's definitely the same kind of style. I just wanted something to travel with that looked seamless with my calendar since they're always together. So I'll, I'll go through this real quick. I'm not going to go into super detail, but these are like my must have items that I always keep with me. So I have tissues in here. Like I said, my nose runs all the time. I have a nail polish remover pad. Sometimes I'll notice in the car that my nails are chipping and I just want it off right there and then. So I always keep these with me. I probably have a couple of them in here. Oh, I have another pair of sunglasses. I recently hauled these from Target. Another pair of oversized. These were like $15 from Target. Really, really cute. I love these. And I don't have these in a case because, again, they're $15. I don't care so much about them. I can just throw them wherever I need them. 
I have a big thing of Aquaphor because I absolutely cannot live without Aquaphor. It's my absolute favorite lip balm. Try it if you guys have not. It will make a world of a difference if you have dry lips. I have another thing of tissues because you can't have enough tissues. I have bobby pins because a lot of times I'll be on the road and I'll want to put my hair up in a bun like this and I need bobby pins. By the way, I just posted a video on this bun if you're interested in seeing that. The easiest bun in the world. So I got these from Amazon. They're just Conair and it's really convenient. I have my, I have two of them, so I guess I must have been tan at one point. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. These are my favorite powders. If you need to touch up a little bit, they don't provide a whole bunch of coverage, but they'll take away a little bit of shine. I really, really like those, but you know, whatever powder works for you. I have a beauty blender in here and a brush, and I'll show you exactly why. I have my little uh, concealer, my Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Concealer. I use these together because um, sometimes my eyes will water and I want to touch it up. And this is, I have a whole video on this if you're interested, but this is pretty much the stuff that I use for that. So I always keep this with me. Another nail polish remover. I have a couple of lip liners in here. My favorite lip liners are from MAC. NYX and LA Girl, so I just have whatever I use. My current favorite lip combo right now is MAC Strip Down Lip Liner, the Wet n Wild 920C Bear It All Lipstick, and then the Fenty Universal Gloss Balm. This to me is just the best lip combo for me. I love it and it lasts all day on me. I, these are, except for the Fenty and the Matte. I guess they're not all cheap products, I shouldn't say that, but the lipstick is a very cheap lipstick, but one of my all-time favorites. I've had that forever, so I pretty much always have these in my bag, and then I have dupes in my makeup where I get ready. I can't believe I've compiled this much lipstick here. These are important. I have these Neutrogena makeup wipes because when I have makeup on and the day is over and I'm on my way home, I want to just take my makeup off when I'm in the car. I cannot wait for some reason until I get home. So I always have these in stock in my little bag so I can start taking my makeup off. I have this Catrice lipstick in Toss and Turn. So beautiful. The finish of this is stunning and I think this is like $9.99. I want to go pick up more of these but this is one of those colors that will work even if I have no makeup on so I always keep that in my bag. Just a couple of things left here. I have oh, my Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lip Mask. So pretty, I love this stuff. It's so glossy, so comfortable. If your lips are dry, throw this on. It's got a little bit of color. I absolutely love it. I have a Revlon Balm Stain. You guys know I love the red one. I also like this pink one. This is in Honey Deuce, I guess. I don't whatever, 001. I love these so much. They're super, super comfortable. They're super glossy and just beautiful. Check these out if you've never tried them. I have a collab concealer in Sand Beige. I don't know why this is in here. This should be in my makeup, so I'm gonna leave that with my makeup. And then just two more things. I have a Dollar General lipstick. This is in Vintage Romance, another one of those just really pretty colors. I really like these Dollar General lipsticks. They're really hydrating, they're comfortable, they give you a nice satin, almost kind of glowy finish. Check these out, they're like under $5 at Dollar General. I have a hand lotion because I cannot take it when my hands are dry. This is from uh, Bath & Body Works. This is in Gingham. I really like the smell of this. It is powerful though, so be careful. And then I have this amber perfume oil from Whole Foods that I have talked about over and over on my channel. It smells so good. It lasts all day. Check this out at Whole Foods if you haven't. And that is the end. And the brand of it is called Daisy Rose. So yeah. So that is it as far as what's in my bag. I'm going to take that out because I put that back in there. I actually have some gum wrappers in the bottom of here, some bobby pins, and some change. But that is pretty much the end of it. So I hope you found this video somewhat entertaining. Like I said, I really miss these videos on YouTube. These were so fun and I really like seeing what's in everybody else's bags. So please let me know below what is one thing you cannot not have in your bag at all times. I am super curious. So thank you for spending some time with me today. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know below. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, I typically post every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central and every Sunday at 12 noon Central. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.